Hi guys and welcome to Fandom Newbie. My name is Shruti and today I'm doing a fun challenge video. So I've seen a bunch of YouTubers attempt these videos where they try to follow a famous person's daily routine. One of them that caught my attention was when people tried following Murakami's crazy daily routine. Now, Murakami is an author that I have been extremely intrigued by. Like, firstly, I've heard so much about his eccentric writing style. I've heard so much about his books. So, when I first found out about his extremely strict, crazy writing and daily routine, I just thought it would be a really cool idea to try to follow it because it is quite difficult, I think, to be able to follow his routine. I also thought of adding a second layer to it because I have never read an actual Murakami book. So I thought that while attempting to kind of do his routine, I should also try reading one of his books for the first time. So I went ahead and bought one of his books, which is Men Without Women, which is a collection of short stories written by Murakami, because I thought that this would be the perfect entry into Murakami's world, because I've heard that Murakami's writing is something that is very, like I said, eccentric. So I thought that reading short stories might be an easier entry into his writing style as compared to diving into a full-blown novel. Okay, so let's quickly talk about what Haruki Murakami's daily routine is. This is something that he does every single day. Like, keep this in mind. Basically, his daily routine involves waking up at 4 a.m. That's right. You heard right. 4 a.m. Then he works for about five to six hours. After that, he goes for a 10k run. Every single day, he goes for a 10 kilometer run. What is this guy made of? <laughs> Seriously. But anyway, he goes for a 10k run. After that, he listens to music or he reads a book and then he sleeps at 9 p.m. Yeah, we have very, very differing daily routines. So it's going to be really interesting for me to see whether I can actually follow this routine and do it justice. The first thing we're going to do is set my alarm to 4 a.m. and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, so the time is now 5.45 and I've been working for a good like hour 15 minutes and it just feels a little strange to be like awake this early in the morning and working because like, I don't know, I'm just used to working when it's bright and sunny outside or at least when there's daylight outside and then like the house, it has a kind of like hustle and bustle to it even though it's just the two of us it's me and my husband who live here yes i feel like i am being able to concentrate a lot better because of that but also it's just like way too quiet for me like i need some amount of like sound and activity <laughs> i feel to feel awake if that makes sense but yeah i mean i have gotten a bit of work done and i'm gonna continue doing that now and yes i will check in with you guys in a bit
Hi guys. Okay, so the time is now 7:25 and I've just finished reading the first story of Men Without Women by Haruki Murakami. Every time someone would speak about Murakami's writing, they would call it eccentric and whimsical and because of that I thought his writing style would be what is actually eccentric and whimsical, but actually his writing is very easy to read and it's very easy to understand especially in this first story the first story also is actually just a very simple story of this middle-aged man who has lost his wife and it basically talks about how this man is coming to terms with his grief and his loneliness and the unlikely bond that he forms with his driver who's actually a woman and i don't know it was just a very simple story about human emotions and there was nothing like extremely whimsical or metaphorical in this story so i was actually surprised by that because i was expecting something completely over the top and crazy but yeah overall i am enjoying his writing style so far and i'm excited to see what the other short stories are right so the time is now 10 o'clock and it feels so weird because like outside my husband is just starting his work day like he has a bunch of conference calls that he's on and he's just starting them whereas me i've already worked for about like 5 hours and i've completed around 70% of my to do list so like literally i have the whole day ahead of me and i have very few things left to do and that feels really good however i am feeling like kind of tired now like i'm feeling sleepy i'm feeling a little bit drained So I'm going to continue reading Men Without Women by Murakami and I will check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so the time is now 11:30 and I have read one more story in Men Without Women by Haruki Murakami and I am actually really enjoying this book. The two stories which I've read so far have kind of explored unconventional relationships that exist between men and women. and the different nuances of these unconventional relationships and so far i'm really enjoying it i'm really liking the character development even within like these really short stories the character development is really good murakami's writing style is super simple and the way he writes dialogues is also very interesting to read so i'm really enjoying his writing style and i'm really enjoying his way of storytelling there's one thing which i've noticed that i want to talk about and that is Every single female character that has been described in this book has been described in a much more sexual way as compared to the male characters in this book. And like that's just like really stood out to me because when a female character is introduced, a lot has a lot is spoken about her physique, for example. And a lot is spoken about her curves and certain parts of her body. But when it comes to men, you don't see it like the description while there is a physical description it's not sexualized and like i don't know why that is like i don't know why he does that it's just something that stood out to me that like i i mean the, that's the only thing so far which has been a little bit putting off i don't like it when authors like fixate on the female body in a book another author who does it is actually jetan bhagat within like the indian context and it also irks me over there So yeah that's the only thing which has stood out for me but like otherwise i feel like his stories are really good writing style pretty good and character development is also quite nice but now it is time for lunch and one of the things i thought that would be interesting to do is to check within like murakami's daily routine if he has any specific foods that he eats or any specific recipes that he tries because he is a very very healthy person like i'm still dreading the 10 km run that i have to do later this day but like yeah i signed up for this so i'm going to commit to it but yeah so i'm going to look now in my laptop i'm going to see if there's anything that is interesting that i should cook so let's look For Murakami how we eat is a reflection of ourselves in IQ 84 the dowager is a wealthy septuagenarian okay what the frick does this mean <laughs> a person who is between 70 and 79 years old wow that is a very very specific word like okay you learn something new every day but anyway this widow who is between 70 and 79 years old what she eats is 
boiled white asparagus, salad niswas, and a crab meat omelette. Okay, this is a little bit too bougie for me. I mean, I don't have white asparagus, I don't know what a salad niswas is, and I definitely don't have crab meat to make an omelette. So I think I'm gonna pass on this. Okay, plan B. Since Murakami comes from the land of Japan, I've decided to have some sushi. God, I feel like such a basic person right now, but like, I love sushi, okay? In order to celebrate me reading a Japanese author, a famous Japanese author for the first time, I'm gonna have some sushi. Sue me. <laughs> okay, so my sushi is finally here. This is a vegetarian sushi, which I absolutely love. It is so good. And I'm watching with Cindy react to Shadow and Bone. So, yep, this is a good lunch. Hello. <laughs> so the time is now 3.30 and I am so, so sleepy. I am so sleepy, like I cannot keep my eyes open. I am so tired. Seriously, Haruki Murakami, how do you do this every day? Like how? How? How do you do this every day? How do you wake up at 4 a.m. and act like a functioning human being and write all these books? It's, it's just ridiculous because I am so tired. It's so sleepy. So I am going to take a bit of a power nap because I need all my energy and strength to do that 10 kilometer run after this. So good night. Okay, so now it is time for my most dreaded part of the routine which is the 10 kilometer run. I honestly don't feel like I'll be able to do it. Like I'm not the most fit person on this planet. The most that I can do is probably like an eight kilometer walk, but I'm gonna try my best to do as much as I can so that I can like kind of keep up with Murakami's routine. The good news is that I actually found the audiobook version of Men Without Women on the Storytel app. So I'm going to now be listening to the book as I do my walk in nature. Hi guys, okay, I didn't do 10 kilometers, I didn't do a run, I didn't even come close. I did about a 4.5 kilometer walk and you know what, I'm still proud of myself. The other thing I'm happy about is that I'm almost done with my book. So I listened to one story on audiobook as I was walking and I have just the last story left. So I'm gonna go freshen up finish my book and then I will catch you guys later with my final thoughts on how this daily routine has been as well as about the book. Hi guys, okay so I am showered, I had my dinner and now I just want to kind of wrap up this video. So I just finished reading Men Without Women by Haruki Murakami. Two out of the seven short stories kind of lived up to my Murakami expectations which is that it had like the whimsical writing that I had been told that Murakami is famous for. It had the magical realism, it had those fantasy elements and the eccentricities that I had been told that Murakami's writing style kind of has. The other ones, I was actually pleasantly surprised by them because I didn't expect Murakami's writing to be so contemporary and actually tackle relationship issues with so much emotional depth and character development within such a short 
like story span but now coming to the entire routine aspect of this video murakami's routine is very difficult to get through especially for someone like me who needs her 8 hours of sleep and needs like enough sleep to function during the day like waking up at 4 a.m was a task and then the thing was that okay so the thing that i liked about the routine was that I finished a huge chunk of my work by 10 a.m. So it kind of like left the entire day open for me to do whatever I wanted to do. But then the rest of the day I was so sluggish and I was so tired that like I just didn't feel productive. So even though I had done a huge chunk of work between 4 a.m. and 10 a.m., the rest of the day I just felt like a complete like slug where I was just like wanting to sleep and wanting to just rest because I was so so tired. plus doing a 10k run every day i think is a bit extreme but yeah i mean like hats off to him for having this routine because i think it is extremely healthy but i'm going to stick to my routine of waking up at like 7:30 and having like a normal day <laughs> so yeah that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a big fat thumbs up leave a comment down below giving me some murakami suggestions which book should i check out next let me know down in the comments and of course do subscribe to my channel for more book related videos i'll see you guys next time bye